San Diego 6 News in the Morning. Your station for balanced news. And there's some last minute tax law changes. And just ahead, we sit down with real estate expert Brian Yu about how the new changes will impact some homeowners. On this tax day, it is hard to keep up with all the new tax breaks. So just in case you're filing last minute, here's one that was just approved last week to keep your eye on. And here to talk about it is real estate expert Brian Yui. Thanks so much for coming in oh, bright and early this morning. Me. So tell me about this new measure that would affect Californians and, and their property. Uh, uh, California just conforms with the federal law, and now they'll give uh, tax-free to debt relief if you had a short sale or a loan modification and the lender wrote off the debt. It's no longer taxable up to half a million dollars in California for the years 2009 through 2012. Okay, so that's it's kind of hard to digest that. So compare the old law with the new one. Well, the old California law, they, uh, in 2008 was tax-free, but they never conformed to the federal to make it tax-free from 2009 to 2012. So people who had debt relief in 2009 would have to pay taxes on that debt relief. Uh, but now with the new law, they can retro retroactively file an amended tax return to get the tax refund for the amount they paid on that. It seems like everything has changed with the way what has happened in the housing industry and all the foreclosures and everything that you see that you're sort of having to try to keep up with everything that's going on. Right. And where are you going to save money and, and get a tax relief? For people who have already filed uh, their taxes, what can they do if they find themselves in this category and they want to see if they can uh, they get a little They should probably bit? talk to their tax consultant and do an amended return, a 540X tax return for California to seek a refund for that amount. That okay, and, and where can people get more information to find out if they do qualify? Well, they could, uh, for the uh, tax board, they could go to the Franchise Tax Board website or they can go to HouseRebate.com, our website, and find out additional information. Now, being a real estate expert, and obviously everything has, has been you know, different lately. My husband's in real estate, and just mm -hmm. because you have to sort of keep up the, the bank-owned properties, foreclosures, everything. Uh, where can you find, uh, in other areas, uh, a tax break? You were talking about short sales? Uh, short sales, uh, that relates to mortgage relief in that um, if you do a short sale, you get debt relief. And now it's more advantageous probably to do a short sale because you can get up to $1,500 back from your lender for moving relocation expenses doing a short sale versus doing a foreclosure. If you do a foreclosure on your home, it's uh, more detrimental on your tax, on your credit report in that it takes about five to seven years to get a new home loan versus two years if you do a short sale. And if you have a foreclosure on your report, it's harder to get uh, a rental or credit card. What would you advise people or what are you hearing out there for people who might be thinking about selling a property now versus waiting, thinking I, maybe I should just hang on to it and, and wait? Is it a good time to sell or is it a good time to buy? I think it's a great time to buy. I think uh, prices are actually moving up on the lower end. So for the investment investor buying condos and renting them out, it's a great time right now because it actually can pencil out in cash flow at this time. If you're a seller, if you're not forced to sell, it's probably better to wait because I think the prices are going to slightly go up. But if you have to, it's probably a good time so you don't have the stress of having to maintain your property. But people should keep in mind they're going to have to probably put down more for the houses now that the banks have kind of really uh, stepped up their uh, scrutiny of everybody who's wanting to I buy. Say generally, yes, but you can still get an FHA loan and put 3.5% down or do a VA loan and get 100% financing. All right. Hey, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me.